Last week, the United Kingdom, the United States, France and Australia issued warnings to their citizens not to travel to Kenya owing to increased terror threats in the country. The advisories, coupled with the evacuation of an estimated 700 Britons from the coast, appear to come as a surprise to the government. But all said and done, we as a country must move on. We must do what we can. We shall endeavor to do what we can. We will continue to market our country to other destinations. And now the government is looking to China for more tourist numbers, with Kenya looking to attract a chunk of the 100 million outbound Chinese tourists who travel the world every year. The two countries are also working on a joint tourism promotion strategy that is aimed at attracting investors from China into the tourism sector. Last year, Kenya received 37,000 visitors from China, which is 10% below the previous year's tourist numbers from the same country. So the Chinese government and the Kenyan government will focus on the trade promotion. That means that we will link up um, the tourism uh, practitioners from this country and those from China so that together they can increase trade between the two countries. This as Kenya prepares to hold talks with the UK later this month in London with a view to convincing UK to reconsider its stance on Kenya's security situation. From the sources, um, uh, the, the diplomatic sources that we have, um, you know, they, they intend to lift it at some stage. Uh, luckily for us, this was the low season. But what we are worried about is that it, 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 it should not affect the, the bookings for the high season. The UK is currently Kenya's top tourism market, having accounted for close to 14% of all international arrivals to Kenya last year. Bella Genga, Monday Special.